Hello fellow RVers, welcome to another edition of RV Tips and Trips. Uh, today I'm going to answer a question that one of my subscribers submitted to me uh, asking what size travel trailer would I recommend for two people to live in. So, I will answer that right after this. Don't go away. So, uh, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Basically what my channel is about um, is anything that has to do with RVing, camping. Uh, if, uh, you know, hopefully we can answer some questions and also about, you know, preparing for retiring into an RV and, and uh, to start enjoying the, the nomadic life. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's a little icon to your lower right, which would be here. Um, it's a, a watermark, but it is also a subscribe button. So just click on that and you'll subscribe and then you'll uh, keep up on all the latest uh, goings on here. So uh, without much further ado, uh, here's the question Charles uh, asks, uh, what size trailer would you recommend for only two people? Yours is 30 feet, and uh, would you stick with it or go with a fifth wheel? Well, I tell you, that is a, a really good question, and I didn't think just uh, making a quick response back on the comment line uh, would be enough space to cover, to cover all that. So, uh, give you a little history on, on uh, what we've gone through. Now, I've never owned a fifth wheel, so but uh, I've had uh, travel trailers and such. So uh, years ago, I got uh, the camping bug when I got a uh, pop-up trailer. I mean, this goes back a long ways. My kids were little, uh, got a lot of use out of it. It was a lot of fun, traveled all over the country. And then uh, uh, kids got older and things happened. So got rid of the uh, pop-up and then hadn't camped in a long time. Um, along comes my wife, uh, Kathy, and uh, we're coming up on being married 11 years. So um, I introduced her to the RV uh, lifestyle uh, shortly after we got married. So, um, and it, she said there was no way in hell that she would uh, consider doing a tent or a, uh, even a pop-up trailer. So had to be something hard sided. So I got a, uh, uh, a 20 foot hard side, uh, trailer. It was, um, a cabin, a trailer and it was cute and it could sleep six according to the specs on it. But, uh, it, uh, it was like a 20 foot, six foot wide. So kind of tight spaces. Kitchen was in the back. Uh, bed was up in the front and uh, it was a lot of fun you can take it gosh you could take it al almost anywhere uh, we took it to Yellowstone Park and that and and it was a great time but uh, it had a lot of drawbacks uh, number one we had bought it used it, it had some leaks and stuff and leaks in an RV uh, not too good so but it was a, a good introduction for her she liked uh, the idea but she said, this is just too small. The bed, you, you know, to, for one person to get out of it, you had to crawl over the other person during the night if you had to use the bathroom and that. And the bathroom uh, was extremely tiny. So uh, we went to a 25-foot um, Aspen Trail that was made by Dutchman, which is Thor Industries. So 25-foot, um, and that was a wide body. Yeah, that was a wide body, but it didn't have any slide outs. And that was a lot of fun. And we took that camping quite a bit. We only had it one year and we had bought it brand new. So um, we traded that one in for our current uh, 
trailer, which is a Keystone Sprinter. It's a 2016. We bought it in 2015. So two and a half coming up on three years that we've owned this. This is the longest we've kept one. Um, Kathy thought that this was it, that it was, uh, this was the camper. She had, uh, she saw it online at a dealer and said, oh, we got to get this one. And that's, so that's how we ended up with this. Um, and at the time we thought that this was great and this should last us a long time. But I tell you, once you start using a trailer quite a bit, uh, you start coming up with different flaws. Um, to me, the 30 foot is, uh, is plenty big enough. We've got to slide out, um, nice, uh, it's got nice space in it. Bedroom, uh, it's got a full queen size bed in it, and so it's comfortable. Bathroom is actually a really good size. So when you go on the toilet, you don't have your knees uh, jammed up in the wall, <laughs> like on that uh, cabinet. But it's, um, it has served us well. But my wife now says, well, now that we're living in a trailer full time, uh, we could use more space. Uh, the travel, tr the uh, the fifth wheels um, have better layout generally, and she's also trying to sell me on the fact. Well, it's an easier tow, <laughs> and uh, she's right. It does track better. Uh, sway is not so much of a problem with a uh, fifth wheel. So, but she just likes the overall design of the fifth wheels. Feels more like, like a house. Okay, so uh, let's go over the pros and cons of a uh, fifth wheel and compare that against a uh, travel trailer. So, and I, I've been weighing out the same, uh, the same things and eventually I think we will probably go with the fifth wheel that answers your question there, Charles. Um, this is all going to be a matter of personal preference. Uh, you know, how much room uh, do you require? Everybody's needs are a little different. For me, the 30 foot would be fine, but um, the wife would like something a little bigger and, and uh, I can understand that too. So um, bigger, you know, means a uh, bigger kitchen uh, to work with and and a uh, fifth wheel is basically like separate rooms, which most of these travel trailers are not laid out like that. And the bedroom's separate, totally separate with uh, a door. Um, the, the living room is, you know, a definitely a defined area versus what we have now where the uh, trailer, uh, the living room and the kitchen are just kind of like merged together. I mean, it's still a nice layout, still works. But uh, to live in full time, you know, it feels more like a, a trailer versus a, uh, a home. But uh, so the pros of a fifth wheel would be that it does tow better. It's more stable. Um, you got the uh, front part of the fifth wheel is actually re uh, in the pickup bed right over the axles instead of a, where you have a pull behind where you have all that extra weight right off the tail end of the truck um, makes things a little more unstable. So uh, with a fifth wheel, with part of the trailer weight being right over the axles of the truck, um, it's, it's, it adds stability. So um, pulls better, you can maneuver better uh, with a fifth wheel versus a, a travel trailer as well. So overall, it is easier. Um, like I said, the layouts on the fifth wheels tend to be better. She, uh, what she wants is a 35 foot, so it's only a little bit longer than what we currently have, uh, 35 foot uh, fifth wheel, but overall length with the tow vehicle and the trailer uh, is really no longer than what we would be currently uh, sitting at. Um, our truck is 20 feet long. The uh, trailer is 30 feet long from bumper to hitch ball. And so total combined length is 50 feet. With the fifth wheel, five feet of it is actually up in the trick, uh, pickup uh, bed. So it actually shortens that distance. So if we go 
35 foot, so five foot longer, I'm going to be no longer than what I am currently as when everything is, is hooked up. So um, those are pretty much the pros with the, uh, the fifth wheels, layout, stability, towability. Um, now some of the drawbacks and it's one is is a pretty big drawback uh, as far as I'm concerned is that it does sit taller than your travel trailers our total height of our tra travel trailer at its highest point is 11 foot 3 inches um, most fifth wheels are going to be more like 13 13 and a half feet tall so that could become a problem uh, with uh, clearances as far as like bridges and gas stations and, and such so something to consider some of the national park campgrounds that you go to uh, you have maybe low overhanging trees and that height could be a problem matter of fact uh, I saw an older guy with his fifth wheel um, and I think this was Glacier National Park he had a fifth wheel and he was coming down the uh, the loop and there were some overhanging trees and there was a branch from a tree stabbed right into his roof and ripped a hole right in the front end of that uh, fifth wheel opened up that roof so um and that, that one just kind of sticks in my mind you know so you, you really got to watch what you're doing with the fifth wheel because of the uh the height and clearance issues so uh just just keep that in mind uh when you're you're traveling around all right, so here is something else to consider as well. Since it is a high profile vehicle, um, so it's not just clearances that you need to consider too. It would also be um, wind drag and fuel economy. You know, the, the higher the profile, the more wind drag you have. Of course, as the faster you go, that creates more wind drag as well. But higher profile, more wind drag, worse fuel economy. So it, it does impact that. So there's another dynamic to, to this whole thing where a travel trailer sits lower. Um, now there are travel trailers out there that they have uh, kind of copied or mimicked the uh, uh, fifth wheel layouts. And those are pretty, pretty awesome too. And then you don't have any steps up and down. Um, it's all flat. So, but you know, you, like I said, you know, it's not as stable as a fifth wheel. Uh, the other thing too, since you have a fifth wheel with a kingpin, you have some sp special uh, equipment. So if you got like a short bed, like I do, so, um, you're going to require a sliding fifth wheel setup. And uh, uh, otherwise, if it's uh, if you don't have that, it uh, you could crush your cab with the trailer when you're making a tight turn so something else to consider the uh, so the towing setup is way more expensive than with the pull behind um, I when I go to a fifth wheel I plan on spending a couple of grand on a good quality slider fifth wheel setup so I don't have to worry uh, about crushing the cab so that's uh, something else to consider now with all that um, stuff in the bed, a fifth wheel setup, and that you do lose storage space uh, because the, my truck currently uh, we have a lot of stuff in there that we use that like our basement. Uh, we do have a basement in the uh, travel trailer as well, but it's uh, it's not that big, so uh, generators and things like that go in the back of the truck. If we got a fifth wheel, all that has to come out. Now fifth wheels do have a uh, much bigger storage compartments underneath so a lot of the stuff that we're carrying in the back of the truck could probably go in the trailer so moving the weight around um, so, you know so because we you can't store anything with the fifth wheel stuff in there so something else to consider Tr you're using your truck as storage space fifth wheel could be an issue the uh, the other thing too is since you have the fifth wheel apparatus in the truck bed it tends to vibrate and that vibration transmits down the pickup bed 
and into the cab. So as you hit bumps and you start, you know, going over things, you will you will hear a lot more noise in the cab than if you had a pull behind. So that's something else to consider too. Is uh, it gets a little noisier in the cab because of all the vibration and stuff uh, with the fifth wheel. There again, the higher quality equipment spend more money. Uh, that would be less of an issue. Okay, and then uh, something else to consider with fifth wheel versus a travel trailer um, is money. So a uh, fifth wheel um, definitely costs more money than a travel trailer. It can be pretty substantial. So if you're on a tight budget, maybe the travel trailer um, supersedes the other needs. So um, I know I'm, I'm money conscious and so got to you know, find a good value in the fifth wheel. But the thing I've noticed is they are quite a bit more uh, it's a big jump and then you got you know the lower end fifth wheels and the, and a the higher end fifth wheel and uh, the higher end ones just really just skyrocket so um, money is is uh, another factor to consider that uh, if you're going to be on a tighter budget then uh, maybe a travel trailer may end up actually being the better option. So we're looking at eventually uh, going with the uh, maybe with the fifth wheel, um, a 35 footer and a dry weight of maybe around 10,000 pounds. We have a gas 3500 truck which would be able to manage it uh, just fine and so you just got to watch out. Here's one of the other cons with the fifth wheels that I have noticed. A lot of them are advertising half ton towable and if you've got a half ton truck I, I think you're you're really pushing the envelope uh, quite a bit so um, especially if the fifth wheel weighs about 9,000 pounds uh, I'm sorry you got to be able to stop this load too and so if you go to a fifth wheel I would highly recommend going to a heavy-duty truck and not a light-duty truck um, just for a braking power alone. I have a 3500 so it will stop um, a fifth wheel just fine. Uh, the truck, it's a gas motor so it's rated to pull with a fifth wheel 13,900 pounds. You, you never load up to, to the uh, max spec of the truck though. You need to leave some headroom so 10-15% at least and if you go into a lot of uh, high altitude camping then the power output of the truck is uh, less and so if you're gonna do a lot of that you might want to give yourself a 20% headroom on that so back to the original question you know is how much room does two people need it's going to be it's all personal preference and um, the only thing I can say you know if it's going to be your first vehicle and you got a half ton truck rather than invest money into a, a new truck and a trailer you might want to buy a pre-owned travel trailer and maybe go with the 30 footer and see how that goes and and then if you like the lifestyle and think you might need something bigger then you might want to consider going to a fifth wheel so um, I suggest maybe a pre-owned just so uh, when it does come time to uh, trade out of it uh, you're not uh, uh, gonna lose as much money but you got to start somewhere we've I mean we've upgraded a number of times maybe more than the typical person but we had to make sure that uh, uh, we we're gonna like uh, the idea of the travel trailer and then went up in size and then we decided oh we need this is what we need this is what we need it took so it took um, a couple of passes at this uh, to eventually hopefully get it right so but we're going to keep this 30 foot travel trailer for another year or two and then trade up to a fifth wheel alrighty well I hope that helps Charles I don't know uh, like I said it's a tough one nobody can really answer that question for you um, if you could borrow somebody's travel trailer and, and use it for a week, uh, that would be ideal too. And then you might be able to save yourself some money. So, all right. Well, until, uh, until next time, uh, happy camping. And uh, don't forget 
to give us a thumbs up and to click on the subscribe button over here and sh share us on Facebook and that. So uh, that helps us out quite a bit. All right. Until next time. See ya. Happy camping. Bye now.